Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 2, Root.com, for this week's Note 2 ROM of the Week. Um, the one that I really, really, really like. If you want a good Android 4.2 AOSP ROM, uh, definitely check this one out. It is available for all the Galaxy Note 2s, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, Sprint, GTN 7100, GTN 7105, and you can even install it on Korean Note 2 if you use SJ Kernel. Um, and also Canadian versions, you can use AT&T T-Mobile or GTN 7105 versions. Now this ROM is awesome um, because it's fast. It is fast. Um, you get the full AOSP uh, fastness. It is actually built off a slim ROM. Now one of the biggest changes with this ROM, I'm not sure because I haven't tried the slim ROM for Note 2, uh, but what I really, really, really like, um, I'm a sucker for these things, uh, is the transition animations. You see that? So transition animation is popping up from the top, um, from the bottom, open up the browser, boom. Um, I just love it. Look at this. Uh, if I change brightness and and take a look at uh, when this thing goes away, it's just boom, you know. Um, there's a lot of transition animations, which is really cool. I've seen this on a lot of the TouchWiz based ROMs, but this is the first time I've seen it on an AOSP ROM, and I've been flashing a lot of ROMs. That's why I really love this ROM. It's the Illusion ROM. Uh, Android 4.2.2 AOSP. If you don't know what AOSP is, go Google what is AOSP, and you will find my whole explanation. Uh, what is cool with this ROM? You can go to interface here. Um, you can, you know, pretty much get the whole ROM control. But uh, let me just walk you through because it's slightly different. Uh, display CRT screen off. That's this CRT like uh, off there, and uh, you can even have it in uh, vertical orientation uh, dependent. So now it's going to go vertical there. That's kind of cool, right? And also brightness. Um, you can change the automatic brightness a little bit there. Uh, no, no, that's just the brightness, sorry. Uh, battery light, enable notification light, enabled rotation. If you want to rotate your phone in any way or fashion, um, you can enable it. So that's nice. There we go. Uh, that's nice. And also a home button there. Home button there uh, to wake and also wake on charge. Volume rocker wake, you can enable those. So that's display. Let's go to sound here. And the camera camera shutter sound, um, you can disable it here. Uh, it is illegal in some areas, it says, but I don't care. Um, lock volume keys and also media control. Some more stuff you can do here. And also power menu. Um, this is your power menu. If you want a screenshot there, go ahead and press that and then you'll be able to take a screenshot of wherever you're at. Boom, shakalaka. Uh, okay, Wi-Fi. You can change the Wi-Fi region code that could make your Wi-Fi uh, signals better, I think. Miscellaneous. This is really cool. I've been actually playing with it. LCD density. You can change your LCD to uh, tablet mode like Nexus 7, 240 or 213. That will get you uh, tablet mode sort of and uh, just reboot and just follow this and you'll be able to have more space on your phone um, and some more misc stuff here you can also uh, recent ram bar there you can change it to applications or whatever so you can see the ram bar all right and that's pretty cool and uh, halo yes you get the uh, halo notifications uh, from the Paranoid Android ROMs. It's been ported to this ROM and works flawless. Uh, Halo here and uh, Halo policy, leave it in blacklist. For example, if you don't want certain apps like whenever Play Store updates, I'll get a notification up here and I don't want it on my Halo notifications. Um, so go ahead and go to apps and go find your uh, Gmail or sorry, PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation. Go find PlayStation. Yeah, Google PlayStation. Cl Google Play Store. Go ahead and uh, make sure you click on enable uh, blacklist handle notification. Now, when your Play Store updates, it will not show up. And also, I also did that for Gmail because I get so much email. Uh, I don't want it on my Halo notifications. The only thing I wanted is SMS. 
Uh, actually, I use Google Voice instead of SMS. Um, and also Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, it'll all show up in my Halo. And also this ROM does come with Privacy Enable Guard. What that is basically, uh, it will prevent any apps from taking any personal information from, uh, from your phone, such as contacts, email, uh, all of that. So if you're paranoid, and you know some apps likes to just kind of go after it um, you can enable that for certain apps uh, so that is nice and see all those nice notification of uh, transition animations I just love it and I'm sure you guys will love it too um, also miscellaneous halo status bar um, you can change all the the battery icon style let's change the battery icon here Dot it with percentage. There you go. That's a little better. Uh, brightness control. That will enable. Ooh, you know. That will enable something. All right. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. Let's go on to the next one. Breathing SMS. A breathing missed call. So when you get a missed call, it'll just kind of like breathe, which is kind of cool. So another effect I really like about this ROM. And also, you can run your favorite apps in custom DPI or tablet mode or phone mode. Um, go ahead and make sure you go to the exposed frame installer, install updates, reboot once, go to modules, make sure you check off the app settings there. And then after that, after another reboot, you'll be able to run your favorite apps. Let's do one real quick together. Although I have a full tutorial guide on this. Uh, let's go back to settings here. And let's change our Gmail to tablet mode. Real quick, uh, we'll just put it like a resolution there. Uh, save, yes. Uh, let me actually close the Gmail just to make sure it's closed. Gmail, oh, didn't change. You know what, I might have to reboot. But it works, I have a full tutorial guide on that. Check that out. Uh, all right, and uh, let's go to the next one. Um, some more stuff, lock screen, widgets. All right, well, it is you know pretty much similar uh, very similar to the uh, uh, it is similar to the the AOKP ROM control now Pi control here this is actually not from paranoid Android this one actually allows you to customize your buttons you can get up to five um, so you can do this to get the full ROM con uh, Pi controls on your phone and some more stuff um, one of the things that sucked about this ROM when I installed it. It came with a really nice font, but uh, everything worked fine. But when I go to my Gmail, I could only read one of the lines. So what I did to fix that, because I really love this ROM, and that's the only thing that was holding me back. I just installed a phone font installer, and I've actually installed Roboto font, and uh, it works flawless now. So I really like it, and the battery life is pretty darn good on this. Uh, and also, you got the floating notifications. Uh, it's a very nice ROM, um, pretty much features you'll find. I find this better than Jellybam, um, sorry, Jellybam developers, uh, but I, I really like this ROM over Jellybam because everything working out of the box, my phone is working really well, so I really like it. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the Week, and it is available for all the Note 2s, and I find this is a lot better than Jellybam. Um, just because it's really built for the Note 2, the developer really spends the time to customize it to the Note 2. And you'll get, you know, a lot of the AOSP ROMs, you don't get really good scores on a Quadrant, but this one does get uh, pretty good scores above 6,000, so that's another good thing. But I really like it. This is one of the um, ROMs that I really like. And a lot of the ROMs out there, they are uh, AOSP ROMs like Liquid Smooth. I'm not picking on Liquid Smooth. But uh, Liquid Smooth, if you go to uh, Korean sites, the Korean font is broken. It's, you know, that's the only thing holding me back. And with this ROM also, um, the keyboard, AOSP keyboard it comes with, it doesn't support all the languages. Uh, that's another thing I wanted to point out. And uh, I've actually installed Go Keyboard, which works just fine. And you'll see here that that's one of the problems for me because I use Korean and English. See, there's no, no Korean. Why? No Japanese, no Chinese. It's, it's a racist ROM. No, I'm just kidding. Um, just go ahead and install uh, Go Keyboard. And, uh, 
you know, the, the fonts are there. You just need to install a keyboard that supports it. So definitely just go here and install whatever language you need. And Go Keyboard, I highly recommend it. Uh, it is a nice, very nice keyboard. Um, you know, you'll be able to pretty much do, oh, you can't do swipe. Or you can install a swipe keyboard. Anyway, kind of got along. Also for camera, you get uh, Android 4.2 camera. And this has no photos here. But you can go ahead and install Titanium Backup, uh, this one here. And go ahead and uh, go to Backup and Restore. Go ahead and find the Gallery app, uninstall it, go download the, the uh, new Android 4.3 Photosphere camera from my site, highonandroid.com, I think it's on the first page at the top. Go download APK, install that, you will have the Andro latest Android uh, 4.3 Photosphere camera. Um, so I really love this ROM, this is like a really you know nicely integrated, everything working out of the box, um, and also my data working flawless. Uh, no data drops, nothing like that. My Wi-Fi router is called Sprint, that's why. But I get perfect 4G signals. And this should be working fine on all the other Note 2s also. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the Week. Did I forget anything? And also DSP Manager. Um, the only issue was DSP Manager didn't seem to work. <laughs> so that's another issue, but I'm not too worried about it. The sound is very loud. Um, I'm going to probably just use audio FX from the Play Store to adjust my sound for now. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Check it out for this week's ROM of the week for all the Note 2s. Illusion ROM, uh, highly recommended. I think it's one of the best uh, AOSP ROMs that I've tried. And uh, yeah, you know, you get pretty much everything in one ROM. And I got a bunch of uh, free coupons from the owner of Cruiser Lite. Uh, this is a Cruiser Lite case. Very good cases. They got a bunch of Note 2 cases. So if you, are, if you need a case for Note 2, I've got these uh, $8 coupons I can send you. All you have to do is email me and I'll send you the coupon. My email is uh, Z-E-D-O-M-A-X, um, just like my channel name, uh, or my main channel name, Zedomax at gmail.com. Uh, you don't have to put anything, just put in the title uh, Note 2 Coupon, and I'll send you a coupon. And uh, as always, if you have a Note 2, any of the Note 2s, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxynote2root.com. Uh, we update you once a week with Round of the Week, tips, hacks, and more, and also you can get personal help from myself um, on my free time. And also, uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button down there. And uh, have a great week and uh, stay high on Android.